Hey there. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do my stream song stitch. And this is it. And the reason I thought it looked stream-like was looking at it from the side. And we can look at it from this side too. And even upside down, because stitches look a bit different, but it does have a stream-like look to it, to me. So this is it. It's a really easy stitch. It doesn't curl, and I didn't have to use any pearls in it. Other side looks like this. That so looks pretty cool too. Okay. I'm using a Dairy Sloom 30 pegs. It comes from one of the circle sets. This is the Doris set. Um, if you want to know what the loom set is like, it's a lot like Nifty Knitter. It has the nice pegs on top, a nice, uh, easy, smooth thing to finish. It's a little bit lighter, but I like it. It has nice long pegs. And uh, I think it's actually my favorite of the plastic looms. Okay, so it's a stitch video, so I'm not really going to show you how to do a project, but I certainly am going to give you enough information you can go ahead and do a project. So I cast on with a chain cast on. That will be on my channel. It's right there on this video in the description. You'll have to scroll down likely to see it but if you scroll down the link will be there for the cast on and the matching cast off okay and then i did two rows of owl eye and then started into the next stitch so i'll be showing you how to do owl eye stitch because it's one of the one of the stitches that i'm using in here so if you don't know how to do it, I will show it will be shown there. And I also have lots of videos on on owl eye. Okay. Um, the yarn I'm using is Hayfield Spirit Chunky. This is it right here. It's a thin bulky. And it's in shade 405. And it's kind of um that's like a sunset kind of thing. It's got yellows and oranges and browns. Okay. And the loom hook I'm using is, um, you can get similar ones on Etsy to this. Okay. This one is um, painted wood. Um, the ones on Etsy, I believe, are mostly um, acrylic or a resin. There are a few wood ones, too, from a different... Um, supplier, but you can find ones on Etsy if you want to have a thicker ergonomic loom hook. Okay, and uh, okay, that's everything we need. So we can just get started now. Okay, so you've cast on, and I've marked two end pegs to be my beginning stitches and two end pegs to be my ending stitches. So I've put stitch markers on here. Now these stitch markers I just get on Amazon. And they are nice silicone stitch markers. They fit nice and tight. How you find them is you go to Amazon and you um, put in your search bar that you want um, silicone stitch, round stitch markers, small size for knitting. And that's what you'll get. The small size fits on these pegs. Perfect. Okay, so I've got orange on here and or two orange ones there. And so the end stitches will always be the same. I've already done them, but it's my owl eye edge. And so if we look here, the owl eye edge is right here and blends right into the stitch. And yet it gives it a nice border. There's what my side stitches look like. Nice and tight. Okay, so in just a second we will get started. Okay, so first row, okay, there's a, it's a three row stitch. First row is going to be juniper berry. I'll show you how to do that stitch. It's quite easy. You 
wrap around the peg, come from the back and wrap around it again. Now you have three loops on the peg. Okay, the so first loop is the loop that's already there. The second one is the working yarn and the third one is the working yarn again wrapped around. Now you take the bottom stitch and put it over the top two and then you put the next stitch over the next one. You might get them mixed up when you do that. So if you do, just separate them a bit and then try one and pull it. And if what happens when you pull it is it's the working yarn, you'll see, see? You can just pull it like that. That's the top one. Okay? And then you put the other one over the top and tighten it. Okay? So go around, go around again. Bottom one over the top to next one over. And you snug it just a tiny bit. So put it over, next one over, and then just snug it a tiny bit. Not too tight. You don't want it too tight. Because when you do the next row, if you have pulled it too tight, you'll have a hard time getting things over. Right now it's super easy for me to do, so I don't want to get too tight. And then we come to the marked pegs. So what we do with them is we go over it in a U-wrap, nice and loose, knit it off, come back over it and over the last peg, nice and loose. And then we come back over the two of them and we want to be loose so I often just loosen it to make sure it stays nice and loose. Okay and then we do another stitch over here and that's it that's the owl eye edge. So that's this edge right here and then, like I say it leaves a nice tight, tight edge on the side. You're welcome to do anything you want on the side because the stitch doesn't curl but because of the kind of stitch it is you want to have a longer type edge or one that uh, will um, hold the structure nice because it's a loose structure. Okay now row two. Row two is pretty easy because guess what? <laughs> It's juniper berry again. So we're just going to go juniper berry the opposite direction. So you go over it and over it again like this. Bottom loop over the top. Next loop over. Okay, wrap it. Bottom loop over the top. Next loop over. Bottom loop over the top. Next loop over. I'm snugging it a tiny bit. Okay, very easy. And of course I have a video for Juniper Berry on my channel too. One of my favorite stitches. Okay, and then we're back here. So we're going to go over it in a U-wrap. Knit it off. Come back over the two. Knit them over. Nice and loose. And again, I'm just going to loosen this up. So I want to keep it nice and loose and then we wrap over the next one but this third is row three it's owl eye so I'm just going to keep going so row three is owl eye so whatever peg you're on you're on peg one you wrap over one and two nice and loose and just knit it off on peg one over peg one and two and see I'm loose just knit it off Ever peg your on is peg one over one and two, knit it off. Okay, easy peasy. And because we're doing owl eye, we just do it all the way to the end of the row. That's what helps our border blend in too. And back, and I loosen it up. It's nice and loose and I'm just putting this over here to hold it but it's also the first wrap and we go over it twice because now we're on row one again and it's juniper berry bottom over the top ok 
Okay, pretty easy. And see how fast I'm doing it now? It just, this knits up really fast. And it doesn't curl and you'll have a shawl or whatever you decide to make with it in no time at all. So now we're owl eye. So we go over in a U-wrap, go over both of them, nice and loose. Come back over, nice and loose. And knit it over. Okay, and now we do another row. This is row two, so we're doing juniper berry again. There we go. And then we do owl eye, nice and loose, for a border. And this is row three, so we just come back in owl eye, so we just keep going. And this is how you do owl eye when you're going this direction. And the ally edge. Okay, so here we are. Now we've done two sets of the pattern and you can see how much longer we are. A lot longer. And there you can see the stitch. It's quite a lively little happy looking stitch, I think. And I like the other side too, as I said. There it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you have a lot of fun doing it. And as you can see, it just does not curl. It lays nice and flat. <laughs> Hard to see, isn't it? There, it just comes straight down. No problems at all. So have fun doing it. And until next time, bye.